At a press briefing on Tuesday, the Guyana Public Service Union informed the media operatives that an invitation was extended to the body by the government to partake in negotiations. These negotiations are to iron out major issues, including the increments to the salaries of public servants. The president of the GPSU, Patrick Yard, told reporters that the union envisioned what it wanted for its workers. We were pursuing a 40% increase in salaries, uh, and that we were pursuing also the bunching and the introduction of increments. You know, within the public service, for some time now, increments were not being paid. The union's president at that juncture explained that even though the invitation was welcomed, the union had issues with the matter of allowances not being included on the agenda. Mr. Yai pointed out that clarity on this issue was sought from the ministry. Nonetheless, those negotiations commenced today, and Mr. Frederick McQuilfred, head of the political division at the Ministry of the Presidency, pointed out that the technical aspects of the matter were a priority. We have to uh, deal with the realities of our ability to, to honor uh, any increases that we may commit to. Uh, I want to emphasize this is a technical team. We are not in any way concerned with policy. And so um, we expect that the union, we will go through the, the, the technical aspects of this matter. Head of the team representing the government's interest in these discussions, Mr. Reginald Brotherson, permanent secretary in the Department of the Public Service, said it served as a fulfillment of the president's promise to restore the collective bargaining process. Given credence to the president's concept and vision of, of what Guyana should be, um, to have collective bargaining restored. So the government side will always be open-minded open in these discussions. Mr. Brotherson said the government side had no issues with the voiced concern on the absence of allowances on the agenda. He said the government remains open-minded to all issues that the union has. George, according to the permanent secretary, these negotiations are expected to continue for at least a month.